when you're sitting there and something that you thought of in your little office uh, or at your little writing desk all those years ago is suddenly being filmed and made by hundreds of people with two huge stars. I mean, how could you not feel anything but lucky and happy is what I would say. It was amazing. The noise is a phenomenon on this planet where Todd, Tom Holland's character, has landed. Uh, and the phenomenon is that everyone can see what everyone else is thinking all the time, whether you want to or not. So think about that for a second. I mean, that's all of your anger, all of your happiness, all of your songs you're singing in your head, but all of the lies you tell yourself, all the true things you think about your friends. Um, it's pretty nightmarish. I would not want to live in it. I absolutely would not. It's kind of a reflection of social media, but taken to the extreme where you had no choice. So that was my starting point for the noise, and absolutely not. No way would I want to live in a world with noise. It felt like it was all shot in a swamp in Montreal, but that was only a couple days, but it was in a swamp in Montreal. It was mostly Montreal and some in Atlanta. Uh, and the landscapes uh, are so important to the book because the book has science fiction elements, but it also has very important Western elements. So the forests, the mountain lines, the, um, the vast fields of horses riding over them, that's really, really a key part of the feel of this place where it's like Earth, but it's not quite Earth. So uh, yeah, kudos to rural Quebec, let's say. It was actually northern Quebec. It wasn't all Montreal, um, but it was mostly northern Quebec. And there was one very long day in a swamp. Doug Lyman is a very investigative director. He's always looking, always searching, always thinking. He's always throwing ideas. And that is a, that's an interesting creative process. It's always, you're always searching. Um, and you're always trying to make it better. And so I would say that. He would always say, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? So it was always in discussion. Um, which isn't always the case, you know. Um, most often you get a screenplay that everybody's happy with and then you, you shoot it. Um, Doug likes to go looking, man. He likes to look for a perfect shot. He likes to see what the day feels like. And, uh, you know, that can be exhilarating. It can be bumpy, but it comes up. He comes up with really terrific films at the end. So, um, and I think he's done it again. All those Knife of Never Letting Go fans from years ago who've been patient and patient about the film, um, that, that's really the special part, being able to share with them that here's the film finally, and here's, you know, here's Tom Holland, here's Daisy Ridley, as your Todd and Viola, and uh, they've been so kind and receptive and excited um, that I'm really happy they're going to get a chance to see it. My philosophy has always been whatever happens to the movie, the book always remains, and so, you know, the book isn't changing, the book's not going anywhere, so, and the book is mine, and the movie is a bunch of people's, and I just love being part of that with all of these other people who've worked so hard to to you know, really make something good. And so uh, if you've got that on your side, then it, it, it's going to be a good experience.